What you will need is your yoga mat, you'll need a bottle of water, and if you've got a yoga block or blanket, grab that and we will get started. So if you've got a playlist of yoga or a song you'd like to play, then play that about now. So we're going to start guys in the centre of our yoga mat in Sukhasana, so remember crossing the legs doesn't work for everybody, so if you need a support, grab a blanket or cushion and sit on that. Also be aware of what leg you're crossing in front, okay, because we're going to swap later on. So let's start with the sit bones, so just find the sit bones and just take a little rock side to side and just see how you feel on the hips, so again if you've not gone to yoga for a while, you may find that you're very, very stiff in the hips. And then very gently circle the body. So just nice and calm. And then when you've done a few times one way, switch up the other way. So again, you can take this really slow or at a faster pace, it's up to you. Good, and then bring ourselves gently back to neutral. So just start to close the eyes, guys. We're going to rest the tops of the hands on the knees, palms face upward, stack the spine. So what I don't want you to do is revert back to that slouch, okay? We're zipping in the abdominals, so belly button to spine, lifting the heart centre and drawing back the shoulders. So if you want to now, just very slowly move the head side to side. And just take a pause to the left, breathe in through the nose, and exhale through the nose. Inhale, and exhale. Nice, and when you're ready, just do a, do a gentle head roll and switch sides. So again, if you want to, you can tilt the chin up a little higher and that will move the stretch more to the front. Again, check in with your breath, in through the nose, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more, inhale, And exhale, lovely. And then from here, just start to head roll, shoulder to shoulder. Just get a sense of where the tension is in the neck, in the upper back. Good. And when you're ready, bring the head back to centre. Take the arms down by your sides now, guys. Inhale, take the palms up together, look towards the thumbs. Exhale, look down towards your thumbs. Four more, inhale, reaching up, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Lovely, take a pause here with your palms to your heart center, gently bow the head. And just be still with yourself, just be quiet, just let go of any to-do lists, and just start to focus on your belly, so expand as you inhale and deflate as you exhale. Good, a few more. Last one. And let go of any tension in the face and the jaw. Good. Take your gaze up, arms lift, inhale. And press them down, exhale. Lovely, guys. So from here, just start to roll the shoulders, just taking them back. Again, you don't have to go too slow with this one. We want to get nice and warm, as we've only got half an hour. And then roll them forward. And finally, back. 
Lovely guys. So we're going to just work in the hips now. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, bow forward, look towards the legs. Slowly round the upper back. And again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, uncurl. And exhale, release. Good, inhale. Exhale, bow. Uncurl, inhale. And release, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, bow. Uncurl, inhale. And release, exhale. Lovely, guys, well done. So we're just gonna now move the hands side to side. Let's wake up the obliques. So again, you don't have to go as far as I am, but if you want to, explore. Keep the hand in contact with the mat. And then we're gonna hold it to the right, guys. So holding here, take that lovely left arm up, spread the fingers, and act it through that top arm. So don't let it collapse. Keep looking up, keep the head central. Look what happens when we do that. The head collapses towards the lower shoulder. So keep it central. Relax if you can onto the right forearm. Top arm over will be a bit more intense, so maybe that's something that you build up to as we progress. Lovely, and release. Nice, come back to the slide. Good, and then take a pause over to the left. Right arm up, inhale, spread the fingers. Good, exhale is when you deepen and you go further with the stretch. So again, remember, keeping on the sit bones so you're not lifting. Yeah, the glue off the mat, keep rooting down. Spread the fingers, top arm over, towards the head will be a little bit more intense. One more breath, keep active, keep through that breath. Exhale and ease off. Lovely guys, come back, roll the shoulders. And then we're gonna work into a little bit of the shoulders again. So we're gonna take ourselves to eagle. So remember, arms are parallel. You're gonna cross the right arm over left. And it's important that you rest the right elbow in the left crook of the arm. So we've got that overlap. Bend into the elbows and palms together. Now, if you can't get the palms together, remember, keep the gap. We are stacking the spine, so do not revert to slouch. Keep stacking. Use a wall if you need to. Inhale, lift the elbows above the shoulders. Looking up. Exhale. Round the upper back, looking towards the belly. Lean forward. Inhale, again, lift up. And exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, coming a little deeper if you can, towards the floor, last one, inhale, take a pause, as low as you can, you can always back off and come up higher if it's too strong, good, slowly uncurl, release the arms, and release, lovely, now remember what I said, check what leg is in front, you're going to swap sides now, so now the other leg is in front, and we're going to return back to the eagle. So now crossing your left arm over right, check that there's an overlap and bring the palms together. So again, relax in those hips. Inhale, arms lift up. Check the elbows are trying to go above the shoulders and release forward exhale. And again, this might be a little bit tougher for the hips. Again, if you've got one hip tighter than the other due to injury or just where you can tend to sit in one hip. Just be aware that we're just going nice and slow. Inhale, and exhale, fold. Release the neck, don't hold it. Inhale, looking up, and exhale. Last two, inhale, and exhale. Last one. Good, and stay down, two to three deep breaths. 
Again, try to let go as much as you can. Last one. Good. Round the upper back. Slowly uncurl. And release those arms. Lovely, guys. So what we're going to do now is bring ourselves to all fours. So if you've got a blanket or, like myself, just a jumper, that will support your knees. So we're going to bring the knees to parallel, okay? Curl the toes under and come to a nice flat tabletop. So engage the core, barely button to spine. Press into the earth. So what I don't want to see is you collapse. Press into the floor, arms are straight and your head and neck are lengthening away from the shoulders. If you don't want to curl the toes, keep the toes relaxed. Inhale, warming up the spine. Exhale, cat and cow here, inhale, and exhale, really squeeze, belly button to spine, check that you're pressing between the shoulder blades, inhale, looking up, and exhale, look to the belly button, inhale, through your nose, exhale through the nose or mouth, Last two, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, lovely, take a pause here guys, so level one, more beginners staying here, engaging the core, level two, keep the toes curled under and hover your knees, look towards your belly button, hold here for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the knees. Lovely, guys. Relax the toes. We're going to thread the needle now. So we're going to do a set of eight. One on the right, one set of eight on the left. So we'll start with the right arm. We're going to reach up, or if that's too strong, hand to the shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, come down onto that shoulder. Inhale, lift, and thread. Well done. Have a smile as well. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, this is halfway, four. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, seven. Exhale. Inhale, eight. Lovely, hold it down, check that you're on the temple and straighten your left arm. So relax the chest as much as you can. Keep the hips high. If you want to, you can extend that lovely left leg directly to the side. So make sure it doesn't go behind you, it goes directly to the side. You can flatten off that left heel and take that left arm up as well. So really reaching up guys, nice and tall. Nice, take the hand down to the mat, knees together and release. Lovely guys, so we're gonna go the other side now, left side. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, good, halfway, four more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, lovely, last one, inhale, come all the way down to the floor, left shoulder, remember on the temple, straighten forward that right arm, Straight and level two, that lovely right leg, or heel down. And take that lovely right hand up to the sky. So again, just check that you're on the temple, that you're not collapsing in the neck and you're not on the back of the head. Remember the temple, that's what's connecting to the mat. Close your eyes. Again, just be with yourself, nice and quiet with your breath. Good, one more. 
Excellent. And release that hand to the mat. Bring the knees together and unthread the needle. Lovely, guys. So when you're ready, we're going to come to quickly child pose. So widen the knees to the edges of the yoga mat. Big toes together. Flick the coccyx and sit all the way as low as you can. Slide a yoga block underneath the bum if you need to. Straighten off those arms. Bow the chest towards the floor. Again, if you've got any tension, slide the hands closer towards you. But if you can, straighten the arms. Forehead to the mat and just rock the head. Massage that forehead side to side. Good, well done. And when you're ready, just take a pause, breathe into the belly. Exhale, deep sigh. And look forward, back to all fours. Lovely guys, well done. So bring those knees parallel. We'll start with now our plank position. So walk a little bit further forward to the front of your yoga mat. Remember, spread the fingers. Shoulders in line with your wrists and bring those feet together. So keep the head above shoulders. Nice strong plank. Downward facing dog. Just step the feet apart, melt the heels down towards the earth. If you want to, we'll take a little rise up and down with those heels. Just warming up the arches of the feet. Good guys. And then if you want to, get those heels down towards the floor. Little micro bend in the elbows, bow the chest towards those thighs. Back to plank, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Inhale, plank, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank, come right onto those big toes, downward dog. Last one, plank. And downward dog. Take a pause. Walk those feet in a little bit closer if you can. Keep the hips nice and high. Close the eyes. Well done. So from here, coming all the way down with your knees. Puppy pose, relax the feet. Slide forward your hands. So what I want to see is that the arms slide forward, the chest bows down, the hips stay high, and we rest on the forehead. Nice opening through the heart centre. So again, if you need to, walk those hands closer like this, if you want to ease off. Good. One or two more breaths. Good, well done. Lift the gaze, look forward, slide the hands towards you, back to all fours. Lovely, guys. Let's very gently bring ourselves back to our downward facing dogs. And then walking our hands to the edge or the lower end of our yoga mats, coming to that fold. Now, what I'd like you to do is do a real deep bend in the knees and sway the arms side to side. Check your head is heavy. Well done. Nice. And then very gently sort of straighten the legs. Looking forward. Now hands to shin. Nice flat back. Exhale, fold. If you want to, bend the knees. Inhale, flat back. Hands to shin or monkey pose. Fingers to the mat. So again, that's something to work on or develop on. Exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold. Lovely. Bend the knees, slowly uncurl for four, three, two, one. Excellent work, guys. Right, have a sip of water and then we're going to get going for a little bit more movement standing up. So wait for, um, if you need to, just be aware, if you need to separate the feet at any time, hip width you can. But I'm going to bring the feet together to challenge myself. So, bring those feet together or apart. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, guys. So what I want to see is that you're reaching behind you, palms face inward, and lift that heart center. 
So imagine your shoulder blades are like a butterfly wing and you're drawing them and closing them together. Well done. Now coming into chair, swing the arms up, look between the hands. Nice deep bend in your knees. You're lifting or curling your toes up, so you're resting in the heels. Lovely. Exhale, fold. Straight leg. Back to chair. Inhale. Good. Can we sit lower? Exhale, fold. Good. Well done. Four more. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Good. Exhale, fold. Release that neck. Last one. Inhale, chair. Nice. Exhale, fold. Lovely. Now, we're going to bend into the right knee. So make sure that your heel lifts. Okay? Your weight, you're sat in that left hip. So you should feel a pull in that left side. We're going to turn the head to the left and see if you can take the left hand, if you feel stable, to the left hip or look and reach up. Good, well done. So again, find that breath. If you don't feel stable, just take the hand back down. Nice, one more breath. Release and recover. Swap sides, bend the left knee, sit in that right hip. So again, you feel relaxing, and turn the head to the right, smile, and reaching up. Well done. Spread those fingers. Nice, one more breath. And recover, exhale, lower. Nice, guys, well done. So stay here, release the neck. Flat back, inhale, and exhale, fold. One more, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Good, walking forward to your plank position, guys. So remember, if you need to, for a beginner's option, lower the knees, lift the feet, half plank here. Intermediate is going to stay with your plank. You're going to lower to chaturanga, which I know you all love, and I'm sure you've missed. So you're going to lower your chest, then the hips. Release the toes, bring the feet together for cobra. Slowly push your hands into the mat and lift the heart and head. Squeeze those shoulders back, guys. Don't lift them to the ears. Exhale, press down, all fours, and down dog. Walking slowly, hands to your feet. Flat back, exhale, fold. Bend the knees, arms up, inhale. And heart centre, exhale. Lovely guys, well done. Right, let's bring ourselves to the centre of our yoga mat. So again, if you need to adjust your mat the same way as mine, I think I'm <laughs> going to put my headband on quickly, get my hair out my face. So, make sure that you go quite wide. So what I don't want to see is that you play it safe. Go a little bit more adventurous. So. Don't go beyond your yoga mat, but again, go a little bit wider than your hips. Now keep your feet parallel, guys, so don't turn in today your feet, just keep them nice and neutral. We're going to work on levels. So level one, you're going to take your palms into your lower back, so it's going to look like that. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Level two, you're going to interlace your fingers and take them behind your back, so remember, opening through that heart centre, so everything should feel nice and open. Looking up to the sky, squeeze your thigh muscles, zip in those abdominals here guys, looking up. Good, here we go, leaning forward, nice flat back, take a pause. So those that are level one, keep the hands to your lower back. Lovely, here we go, level two, look between the legs, arms lift up, and float. Check your arms are light so they are away, the shoulders are away from your ears. Good, well done. Find your breath. We're going to bend the knees. Nice big inhale. Exhale, straighten. Nice inhale. Exhale. 
exhale, straighten. Last one, inhale, exhale, hold here, nice straight legs. Release the hands all the way to the yoga mat, so make contact with the floor. So this one is a little bit of a sort of game of twister, yeah, so really listen to the instruction. So we're going to go through it slowly, so if you want to any time widen the legs you can, but don't go too strong, too quick. You're going to take your left hand and take it to your right knee. So obviously I'm mirroring you. So left hand to the right knee. And then slide forward off your mat, your lovely right hand. Now you're going to look under that arm and look towards the sky. So you're looking past the underarm and up to the sky. And just hold it here. Now if you want to, make sure that both arms are straight. And if you want to intensify, slide that left hand down towards the ankle. And there is a big stretch waiting for you. Good. Two more breaths. Well done. Really engage that twist. Belly button to spine. Good. And ease off. Bring the hands back to the mat, underneath the shoulders, take a little pause if you need to. Bend the knees and swap sides. So, other way now, right hand to your left knee. Just slide the hands around the back. Slide forward that lovely left hand so the arms are straight. And twist the body, look underneath the arm. Good, well done. Find your breath, nice and slow. In through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Level one, stay here. Level two, slide the hand down towards that ankle. Good. Find that breath. Good. Well done. Release. Ease off. Nice. Bring those hands back to the centre. Toe, heel, with feet together. Feet together or hip width, flat back, smile, inhale, look forward, exhale, fold, bend the knees, arms lift up, inhale, palms together and heart centre, exhale. Lovely guys, well done. So we're almost at the end of our yoga practice, so have a sip of water and then we're going to come back down onto our yoga mats. So take a blanket or a cushion and slide that underneath the sit bones. And just bring yourself to a comfortable seated position. You don't have to be in Sukhasana. You can come to kneeling or you can straighten off your lovely legs. So when we're here, let's just bring ourselves back to that calm state. So just lowering the heart rate now a little bit. Just resting the tops of the hands on your knees and bring your middle finger to your thumb. Good. Stack the spine, grow nice and tall. Lengthen through the back of the neck. And just relax the bottom set of teeth away from the top. Relax the tongue. Now if you're familiar with the ocean breath or Ujjayi breath, just start with that. If not, just take your time with just an inhale and a simple exhale. One more deep breath. Lovely guys, release the fingers, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Gently bow the head. Bring the hands together to your heart centre. Thanking your mind, your body and your soul for your practice. Gently bow your head with gratitude. 